Attorney General Jeff Sessions has been very vocal in his opposition to legalizing marijuana. Now, interestingly enough, fairly recently, he sent a letter to states that legalize marijuana for recreational use and essentially let them know that these policies are very, very damaging to their state. And uh, lawmakers and leaders in those states have actually pushed back fairly aggressively. Now, Sessions told uh, Alaskan officials that the 2015 annual drug report released by Alaska state troopers, quote, raises serious questions about whether marijuana regulatory structures will be effective in your state. Now, here's the issue with that annual report. Um, their recreational marijuana laws did not go into effect until after that report was written. Oops. And so the, the lawmakers <laughs> let that be known. The 2015 report was not relevant to the effectiveness of the legal marijuana industry in the state because sales from licensed businesses did not begin until 2016. That was according to a letter that officials in Alaska sent back to Jeff Sessions in response to his letter. And it's not the only state that they screwed up in. Uh, they also sent letters to Washington, the state of Washington. Uh, same exact problem. Uh, and it's hilarious actually if you think about it for a second, because not only are they wrong, but it, they're sending the exact opposite message. They're saying, oh man, uh, oh, the accidents are up and um, and your usage of marijuana is up and uh, Washington state is sending all this pot to 43 other states and you've got marijuana labs exploding. No, all that happened under prohibition. Right, <laughs> yes, and so here's what happened. So Jeff Sessions, will will focus on you know the plants that exploded um, and yeah those were illegal operations and so lawmakers in Washington who also got you know a similar letter from uh, the Department of Justice responded back and said those were all illegal marijuana plants all the legal ones that are regulated and have to deal with oversight are actually performing well safely um, you know crime has gone down as a result of what we've done with marijuana policy and so they're fighting back and look let's keep it real one of the main reasons why they're fighting back is because it's become a cash cow for a lot of these states people like pot and people want to buy it legally and it's being taxed that revenue is very precious to these lawmakers I like the fact that we're talking about marijuana and exploding plants. <laughs> it has kind of a delicious double meaning. And, and to your point about the revenue, the state of California alone is looking at 20 billion with a B mm -hmm. dollars in revenue. Whew, that's a lot of fun, good yeah. clean fun for sure. And they don't have to do anything and people can sit around and have the munchies and it's all good clean fun for all the kids in the room. Now, you look at Jeff Sessions or Jefferson B. Sessions the mm third. -hmm. When we saw the movie Reefer Madness, and I think we all remember that beautiful film classic, <laughs> it was all about the African Americans getting erections when seeing white women enter the room. And that was the 1930s reason for illegalizing marijuana. And then famously later, George Bush the first was saved heroically by using a parachute made out of hemp. It wow. saved his life. And then we had hemp for victory during World War II, grow it in your backyard until somebody once again got a boner. And that was the end of that. Yeah. Yeah. You're so right. let, it, let me add on top of that. George Washington was a hemp farmer. That's the main thing that he did. That's how, and George Washington in today's dollars would have been the richest president we ever had. And yes, richer than Trump, who's lying about it as well. <laughs> uh, and so they, we didn't always hate marijuana and hemp and, and these plants. It, it's, it's a, a development in history and it is for a number of reasons. One uh, set of reasons, the one that Carrie laid out. Another one was that it used to be called uh, something else and it got switched to marijuana because we wanted to blame the immigrants coming in from Latin America and hence we gave it more of a, a, a Spanish sounding name. Marijuana. That's right mm -hmm. and, and use that to arrest a lot of people. And then finally in the Nixon era it was when we started the modern war on drugs and we had one of his top aides who told the press, uh, many years later, yes, we did it to target blacks and to target hippie liberals. It was for political reasons. Mm -hmm. So the fact that this still exists is amazing, ridiculous, and it is totally political and prohibition never works. Right, um, I, I would like to go back and address, uh, I'd like to go back and address Carrie's point about boners because I think it's, it's relevant. <laughs> so it's just, it's really funny how, I, I haven't seen Reefer Madness and I actually wanna watch it. Um, I know a lot about it just based on what I've read, but um, the whole notion that, oh, 
black people got boners from smoking it. Like there's actually some science and I, I, I don't think that there's causation yet. Um, but they have found some correlation between excessive and, and heavy pot use and a lower sex drive. And so look, I don't know why I'm bringing this up. I just think it's hilarious that that was what they used. And of course, there's no fact behind it whatsoever. Yeah, I don't think they did a lot of science before right. they did Reefer Madness, the movie in the 1930s. <laughs> and finally, I just love how counterproductive this is because it shows you that prohibition wasn't working, but it also shows you that regulation does work. Right. So if Jeff Sessions wanted to damage his own cause, he couldn't have done it any better than this. <laughs> They're proving that big government works and when it's done legally, pot brings you a lot of revenue and a lot of good times. And one last piece of fact, <laughs> a piece of actual statistics from Washington, among young students, pot usage has actually gone down. You wanna know the ironic reason why? Since it's become legal, it's become harder to get. Yes. Because there's a lot of ways to get it legally, but not if you're a kid. <laughs> so they drove the drug dealers out of business and now the kids can't get it. If you like this video, you probably like independent media. The best way to support independent media, become a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.